Oh. Gentlemen, hey. bienvenue, welcome. Hey. How are you both? Thanks Good for morning. having us. Good morning. All right, he's the most jet lagged. Him? <laughs> you, no, I'm actually fine. I, 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 I'm, I was, I was. You're always jet lagged. <laughs> I'm always jet lagged. So, yeah. So, All right, no. Sam, you've just come back from Korea. Yes, yes, yes. I'm fascinated by Korea. How did the film go down there? What did people ask you? Uh, you what can we steal? They're so nice there. They're so so nice and passionate about film i mean they have really good filmmakers there obviously and they they were they were really lovely they were great they were they were very enthusiastic of course they were yeah. okay well we'll try and enthuse them right now no. <laughs> uh, how are you matthew i'm good how are you enjoyed our little chat yesterday morning <laughs> no i did i learned a lot and now i know how to I, I know how to arrange flowers only three yeah just the three just the um, three plenty of room rent some space baby uh matthew do you want to frame the film for people listening um it is a feel-good escapism from a very dark world we live in it's a ray of sunshine it is it's a ray of fun. sunshine yeah. it's absolutely crazy yeah it's well. um i asked you loads of questions on the phone yesterday uh and i'm so glad i asked you on the phone and not on the show because you said chris don't ask how the sausage is made you don't want to know how... and then you actually um text me a picture of your sausages i did we make sausages <laughs> um good old fat it's just pork salt and pepper yeah, but don't ask, and they're don't, delicious okay but i'm not allowed to ask how the film sausage is made but i want yeah. to well um uh, sam you 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 could ask a little bit yeah no i'm gonna don't worry yeah. I, I, I will you can I'm, i want to know about the choreogra choreographing of smoke mostly <laughs> the okay. color smoke at the end yes. Uh, uh, yes sam do you always if matthew vaughan calls you about a film is it just an automatic yes yeah, it is. Well, I pers uh, it was. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It now was, it might uh, not be, but well, I yeah. pursued Matthew at one point, and uh, I think I saw Kingsman, and I was like, well, "Who is this guy?" And then I saw Layer Cake, and I was. I think we we sent messages through our agents, and we we're like, "Yeah, one day we'll get to work." And then a few years passed by, and then I got a call about the script. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny that you, because um, that's in reverse, isn't it? So you saw Kingsman and then Layer Cake. We, yes. all, grew, we all grew up with Layer Cake and then Kingsman. Yeah. And I yeah. bet the journey backwards was far more surprising and interesting. It was. It was. Yeah. And and I, I'm friends with Daniel. So I, I, I saw that and I was like, wow, that's really... Layer Cake is, is off the chain, isn't it's it? It's an incredible film. Round of yeah. applause for Layer Cake in the control room. Control room, round of applause for Layer Cake from the young people. Yeah. yeah. They're I don't, do they really know what it is? Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, super rare. Super. They're all salt burned up at the moment. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Salt yeah. burn's yes. really high. Salt rate. burn frenzy. Yeah. I like salt yeah. burn. I love and triangle of sadness. Are yeah, we, I love triangle of sadness. Well, I, Harris is in it from The King's Man. Yeah. yeah. He, by the way, he, he, he isn't in this film. So you got Sam Rockwell. You may have heard of him. He's talking to us now. Henry Cavill's in it. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard is absolutely off the chain. Awesome. Brian Cranston's in it. Catherine O'Hara, Dua Lipa, Rob Delaney, Rich D. Grant, Samuel Jackson, to name but a few. Sam, can you frame the film? Okay, so so yes. He, so, so Matthew has told us what he wants it to give the world. What how can you? What happens in the film? Well, it's about a, a, a book writer who writes spy novels, and um, accidentally she she writes something that the an underground sort of syndicate. Uh, it turns out that what she's writing is true. And so she uh, meets a real spy on a train, and that's me. That is you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is sort of um, Woodstock you. I like, I like Woodstock yeah, that's, you. Yeah, that's Woodstock me. We, we had a lot of talks about that look. We had the beard and the wig. And then, you know, it's kind of, you know, typical kind of rom-com, romancing the stone and movies like that are kind of, were kind of an influence, a few others. There's a, there's a couple of them. But it's like clever, it's clever. You didn't write it, did you, Matthew? No, I, it, I yeah, must, we, it's a lot easier not writing a script. I thought, I thought it was right out of your brain, this. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I changed a lot. It was when, when I first read the script, Hollywood was saying, and do not take this the wrong way, uh, we should be making this movie with Brad Pitt and Charlize Theron, and it was very conventional. But that was just Argo, right? Or was that, or no, that was no, when the whole you thing, still had no, Aiden yeah. Wilde, yeah. And then this gentleman and I... Uh, we like to get up to mischief, would you say? Yeah, yeah and we, um, yeah, yeah. we just decided to make it a little bit more crazy. Yeah, I love it. I, so, so Bryce's um, character, she, she's this unbelievably successful authoress, and and then she's on the train, and she, she begins. She meets a character out of her book. Eventually, that, that's it's no spoilers. There's no spoilers, really. I don't suppose. Um, yeah. And then the. the Film and the script and the story and the narrative starts to eat itself in yes. a good way from the inside out. Yeah, that's and a that's good way of putting it, it. 
Yeah, but that's what happens. Yeah. It starts to mess with your head. And once the film starts to mess with my head, I am all in. Wow. Because that's what I want. I want a yeah. film to mess with my head. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, sure, sure. I don't give a monkey's if it's got a beginning, middle and end. I used to. Not yeah. anymore. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but it helps if it does have a beginning and a middle and end, <laughs> no, I'm not which sure we it still does do. It, but the point yeah, is... No, no, I'm just saying... Somebody says yeah. to me the, the other day, he said, um, what is success to you? And yeah. I, I came up with a rubbish answer. And somebody else said... What, what was it, the answer? I can't remember. I've, I've deleted rubbish? it from my... No, yeah. it was terrible. It was wow. awful. I didn't was even it? mean it. It was just yeah. stupid. And then yeah. somebody next to me said, uh, well, it's a, success to me is a journey. It's not a destination. And that's how oh, I feel I about... I heard this show. That's how I feel about movies. I'm very impressed with your T-E-S-C-O. <laughs> I was like, these guys are My, got a lot of energy I in the love morning. The fact you listen to the show, it's so cool. Well, it helps. Um, Sam, uh, what's the most dangerous thing? What's the most painful thing that happened in the movie? Oh, um, that's a tough long question. list. Well, could, what do you think? Well, Matthew? you know, you would know because your body. Uh, you know, I, I did okay. I managed to do okay. We have some amazing stunt team that took a lot of most of the hits. Um, I did some of the, sh- sh- you know, <laughs> no, stuff. What does that mean? Some of the you sh- know, the kung fu sh- fighting. But the, you know, we have we have a great stunt team that really did a lot of a lot took a lot of really Northern England kids who really all based gymnast based, and uh, all from Derby, brilliant guys. All from Derby. Damien Walters, who's a protege of Brad, Allen, the late great Brad Allen, who was a protege of Jackie Chan. And yeah. yeah. So it's a, that stylized kind of violence that's been passed down generation to generation. So I was, I was saying it's, a, it's very Bond-esque. It's very Iron Man. Every, nobody's got a problem with that, hopefully. Yeah. It's very Kingsman. You know, it's got a bit of succession in it, I think, as well. Um, uh, and it has this sort of global... Um, it exists globally. And so I was saying to Matthew on the phone yesterday, it's here, it's there, it's everywhere. He says, no, yeah. it's all, all in a field in Amersham. It, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. How'd you that's like right. People were surprised. <laughs> People thought we shot in Greece, you know, in Korea. They were like, uh, I, you know, we were, it's it's like, it's just a commute. Otherwise, it's great. I didn't mind it at all. But the, I know. I live in Chesham, which is right next to. Yeah, I'm talking Chesham. about the it's studio basically between Chesham and uh, uh, Shardlow's. Oh yeah, Shardlow's. Couple of yeah, yeah. But yeah. hang on, hang yes. on, hang on. I was in. Um... We also, by the way, shot Kingsman there. <laughs> we we uh, is Rocket it close Man. to where you live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex just shot Taskmaster. But hang on a minute. In. You were, you know, in the in in the penultimate scene, you're there's this the mother of all fights. Yes. Um, and we there there is a spoiler there, so we won't say between who. Yeah. But there yeah. is the mother of all fights on this huge ocean going tanker. Mm-hmm. Now that can't have been in the field in Amersham, Sam. Well, I'm that was in a shed in Amersham. What? <laughs> what kind of? How big are these sheds? <laughs> They're big. Uh, by the way, I've been to. I was in They're Amersham big. yesterday, wasn't I? I told you about it before the yeah, show. Yeah. It's not, the whole of Amersham isn't isn't that big. Yeah. Shardlows is. Pretty massive. Well, I, what the difference is, though, yeah. we shot this right at the end of lockdown, right. so it was we couldn't go anywhere. Actually. Lockdown and two smoking barrels. Very good. <laughs> but making a movie with masks. Yeah, there was talk of going to places, but then we never did that. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't. We weren't we couldn't, allowed. Yeah, to. yeah. Well, hang on, hang on. What about? All right. Yeah. Here's here's why I don't believe you. Right. Okay, go for it. What about Samuel L. Jackson's vineyard? Shardlow's. Good question. Good question. That's Shardlow's. We literally what? We, we um yeah. You, you put some grapes on on a stick, and then you walk along it, and then it looks like yeah France. It did look like France. Yeah, yeah. When you said yes to the script, did you think you were going to get to all these go to all these places? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wasn't really concerned with that. I need to pay more attention to the fine print. You know, when it says night all nights or. You know, I don't really, I need to pay more attention to that. Well, he was very sweet on day, what, 50 of the shoot? Because Sam loves, loves smaller uh, movies. And uh, yeah, we shot for like we 92 shot a long, days. a long time. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And halfway through it, he said, and he suddenly went, I respect Daniel Craig because this action movie stuff. No, it's a long haul. Work. It's a marathon. Yeah. Is that why you like indie movies more? You know, I think I do. I, I mean, I... I hadn't done a long haul. I'd done Fosse Verdon, which is a limited series, was eight months. And this was with prep. It was probably for me, it was like five months, maybe. Yeah, you were here a long time. And uh, yeah, and it was hard because of there was sort of, it was semi, it was open, semi lockdown kind of. It wasn't lockdown, but it was kind of like still, we were being careful. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's, yeah, and these are, you know, two months is good. You know, you prep for a month or two. Two months you shoot, get out. You know that's an easy. That's yeah, a nice. Yeah, yeah. That's a You've civilized way. You've been in so way. many films, haven't you? You've I have. Been in like I a have. million. Films. You can burn yourself out on an independent, whereas a, whereas a not with a movie like this, you gotta 
you know, slow and steady wins the race. You got yeah, to, yeah, yeah. you got to kind of pace different yourself. discipline. We're just talking about it off the mm. well on the yeah. air. We're talking about radio because a live radio show is not. Yeah. It's not the antithesis because hopefully we're in the same game somewhere in the rainbow. But oh, yeah, we're all creative. Yeah, it's a bit entertaining. It's, I hope it's the opposite of a movie, isn't it? Yeah. We're three and a half hours a day here. Right. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, it's great. We love it. If we do a terrible show, we've got another one tomorrow. Do a great show, we've got another one tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. But on a movie, you've four years on this film, three years. This was three and a half years. I mean, and, it, yeah. you don't, and you could live or die by a two hour screening. Well, that's yeah. what Bob, yeah. Bob Evans said. It's like opening, it's like jumping out of a plane with a parachute, and if it doesn't open, you're dead. And it's. That's yeah. it. You're, it's over as well. I mean, you're back. sort of five yeah, percent yeah, of that, yeah, aren't yeah. you? Because he's he's on this for four years on one film. And no, you get... yeah, the director's on it pre, post, during. Yeah, it's a whole. But thing. still, still compared to TV, you know, still yeah. compared to miniseries, even mega series on Netflix and radio. Yeah, still quite a bit of investment there. It is. It is for for me. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. You're working really hard, trying to get in shape, and you're trying to yeah you're trying to make it happen yeah and like it's you say it's funny that you mentioned daniel craig yeah Lay cake of course mm-hmm. yes but um but you know it's a long what's a, a bond movie's like 18 months oh. they, they shoot for six seven months six seven months and yeah. then they, they, yeah. they pre yeah. they reshoot as well don't they but then you're in a franchise as well so times that by four or five it bangs you up sort Dan- of the daniel, opposite of what you do isn't it daniel got banged up pretty good on all those <laughs> I, movies yeah i think he's okay with it <laughs> Yeah. I think he's okay with it. He did. He did fine. He's missing the banging. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, he's good. Did, did yeah. you have an eye on Daniel when you were with him on Layer Cake to a Future Bond? Uh, no, I, I, it was a really weird moment. There's a scene where he grabs a gun and he does this, and I joked. I said, "Go on, just I can't swear. Just be a Bond." And yeah, yeah. he went for it. And then when he was offered it, we were doing the voiceover. You know, the whole movie has him narrating the film and he'd been offered it. And I remember just, we just sat talking about him becoming James Bond. And it was a surreal. He was very nervous about doing it as well. Really yeah, nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, will people take me seriously as an actor? I went, if you're good, they will take you seriously as an actor. So you'll be fine. And he was, look at his career. It's been, it's been I mean, Layer Cake was weird because it was him, Sienna Miller, Tom Hardy, Ben Whishaw, all of us together. You forget he's like in that this, film. wanting to try and have a career. And it was, that was, I nearly, you know, that was my make or break moment because coming from a producer to a director is sort of be like one of these lovely people here jumping on board grabbing the microphone saying I can I can do what he yeah, does yeah they do it every you day you might be better than him or you might not but, no they are but, usually better than so me so we, it's, it's uh, only a question of time Matthew but it's taking the step and it's it's scary the first step you have to do it Matthew Vaughan and Sam Rockwell in conversation talking about Argyle Argyle in UK cinemas from Thursday 1st to it's a global release it's a simultaneous it's a global release come on come on man Sam where are you uh, going to be which premiere are ex- you going to grace yourself with grace wh- your wh- where am I going to be uh, yeah. which premiere are you going to go to because they're all on uh, the same day well, we got to go to we got to go to the, well, all of them London and then what do we got New, New, New York there's no premiere is there a premiere in there New is York? one now yeah there is Sam, now. can you just okay. lean in a bit because you've got yeah, a great there's voice. There's a premiere in... Uh, now you know what it's like working with him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 In like a good him. way. I like yeah. the cut of his jib, though. You get no, any- no, he's relaxed. He, no, he's the most unusually brilliant actor because I've worked with all these actors. With their, their, who's the, who's the worst? Who would you never work with again in a million years? Joke. Don't you know, know. I'd answer don't that. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I actually don't want to know. I prefer I, I, not the, to. The if you told is, me, I'd yeah. want to erase it from my brain. Yeah. I'm not interested. I'd work with him again. Let's put it that way. Well, here's the thing. Vice versa. There's this mutual appreciation, this yeah. distant mutual yeah. appreciation society. Then there was talk through agents and there was a whisper. Yeah. We need to get Matthew and Sam together. It could happen. Sam likes Matthew. Matthew likes Sam. Then you yeah. meet. It's got to work, hasn't it? Was it yeah. Is there a nervousness, like a first date? Sure. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we, we poked each other around a little bit in the beginning. And then we, but then we yeah, ended up just talking. He was very clever. About... You behaved impeccably when I first met you. You I said did. all the lines. I thought this guy's easy. The fir- is the first time you was it working? First time was we it- met, yeah, we pick up the script, we read. He was fantastic, and then on the first day of filming, he throws he throws the script out the window Aha! and does <laughs> the most brilliant improvisations, which most of them made the movie. So on the day, I was like, oh my god, what am I dealing with? But in the end, I realised I was dealing with genius, so it was great. How do you do? It? How do you do it? Because people have their own jam about scripts, don't they? Some people. Um... Well, it's, it's it depends on the 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 story, you know. And and with this kind of story, I think it's a it's a personality film. A rom com is a, or whatever you want to call this genre. It's a an it's, action romance comedy. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's it's a it's it it has to be catered to the personality of the actor in a way, whether it's Brad Pitt or Paul Newman or uh, you know. Tell Chris your story about. Philip Seymour Hoffman and your audition process. By the way, sums it up. Can we well, have a control room round of applause for Philip Seymour 
Hoffman. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the story? Literally, I, literally nobody better. Goosebumps. Nobody better. Just he saying did, his name, Goose Best friend. He directed me in a play. Shut yeah, up. we were good yeah. friends. Yeah, we were good friends. But what's the story you're thinking of? About how you guys realized. Oh, do you want me to tell the story then? So, well, I'm not sure you're. you're Philip talking. Seymour Hoffman taught him saying, We don't look like movie stars. So when we go to an audition, do everything opposite. If they say sit down, stand up. If you say be quiet, shout. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> I don't remember any of you, this. You, well, you oh, said Phil it. said a lot no, of smart things. No, but you're doing things. it now. You're, you're doing, doing yeah, the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing the thing. So, Phil said a lot of smart things to me, uh, but I don't remember that. No, no, no. That's how I... Uh, the way I directed you in the end, I always told you to do the opposite of what I wanted. I had the chance, right? I All had right. the chance to go and see Queen at the oh, wow. Liverpool Empire when they were still wow. playing theatres. I had a ticket and I didn't go. I had a uh, ticket for the semi-final, Spurs-Arsenal. Didn't go. Didn't go. And I also had uh, the chance, not, didn't have a ticket, Death had the salesman. chance to go and see John C. Riley and Philip Seymour Hoffman. In True a, West? In a, yes. And oh, I, did, I, didn't go. I saw did it. Go? It was amazing. I, yeah, they switched roles. I saw both versions. I know. What the heck? It's amazing. What's wrong with me? You know, it happens. I've missed a couple of Philip things. Seymour Hoffman. God Great. bless him. God of, bless him. Yeah, the greatest of my generation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, jeez. Yeah. Magnolia. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, Forget Just, it. Punch Drunk Love. Oh! Yeah. Boogie Nights. Yeah. Boogie Nights. I mean, we were it, saying yeah. before, Talented you know, Mr. Ripley. Yeah. We were tell it, yeah. Just Doubt. off the chain. How about everything he did? How about everything he did? Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the, that's that's my question. Yeah. So we were saying beforehand, you know, uh, the thing about movies is no, nobody, nobody's, a, you can't bank on the box office for anybody in the movies. Everybody has been involved with a turkey. It's just, it's yeah. just the way yeah, it goes. Yeah. yeah. H- has he? Was it, oh, we did maybe talk about Phil. Like, if what if Phil was a spy? Well, how would that play out? You know, not that we played it like that, but like I feel like we did mention that. Wow! Once. Yeah. What yeah. a lovely ref! Yeah. What a lovely conversation yeah. to be able to have. Yeah, isn't that yeah. wonderful? Yeah, it is wonderful. It is wonderful. Well, we nerd out on film references and, no and whiskey, and you know, <laughs> the, yeah, whiskey and film. Well, whiskey references. and film. Yeah, we we talk about. Are you still and... whiskeying? Well, no, he taught me more about bourbon than I think a man should know. I don't know what that. I don't know what that You're tells you about young me. Than me. Are you still? Are you still having a? good time with, i think yes, I, I, a little I'm, glass of something yes, you like I have, a, I have a little glass of something um but uh yeah but we talk about movies from the 70s and uh, 80s. movies that were the same age yeah. pretty much yeah and 80s yeah yeah 60s. we love we both love films yeah somebody said to me the other, uh, the other day uh favorite movie ever and i'm like you can't that's not even a question depends what uh, mood you're in who you're with yeah what, uh, how old you are you know films change yeah. you know my f- favorite film forever was the graduate yeah. It's not any, probably top yeah. five still. You know? you know, I just saw the audition for that. Did you really? It's online. It's oh like Criterion, God. yeah. Oh it's kind of amazing, gosh. his audition, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Um, but how old were you when you saw it? First oh, saw so it? like, uh, obviously it was after period because I was a bit too young, but I was like 14, 15, and that's so my favorite film. For... That's why. So when you see a movie when we're younger, it's like music. Yeah. I'm a big believer when you see things for the first time they, and you're young, you're, you, you're more of a sponge for relating to it and i think when you're 14 you're probably wanting a mrs robinson to come into your life oh without question yeah. you so know then it totally i like you know, it when you get a bookend you. so like oh, yeah. you know for me uh there was the graduate and the bookend of that would have been american beauty same yeah. problem different yeah. age kind of thing that's yeah. quite an interesting yeah. conversation to have yeah. uh with nail and i would probably yeah. put up there all Amazing. the time just Definitely. because just because because it's brilliant it's brilliant yeah. shall I ask you the, the question that I hate to be asked one film one film oh come on one that's one all we film. get we I only know. get one film what, was drama or comedy I can answer mine immediately is it got a bit but you got to ask drama or comedy no, right? so what, what, you, you, get you know one uh, death, get... you know your death row meal your death row movie that's the thing back to the future yeah, Great. that's a pretty good answer. Great answer. Yeah. That's a very good answer. Good answer. I'm tempted to yeah, say and it's but humorous. It's a, perf- it's a perfect it's humorous movie. and it's uplifting. And if you yeah. want to learn about structure, this is the most perfectly structured movie ever I agree. Made. I'm going to go with One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go with that because it has a little comedy, a little drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what else should we say about the movie? What Come on, talk about the music. We talk about the music. Let's talk a bit, little bit more. Uh, about I know you're really excited about it. Because I'm finding but interesting. I'm looking at Ariana, your, your whatever that is. Ariana and you've got, you've got um, mm-hmm. you had. Don't you forget about me? Yeah. Boy George. You've got coming up. Loveful. Yeah. Both became famous because of movies. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. We'll get into that in a second. Yeah, we'll get into you got, that, but I'm just saying. You've got, just, a, you've got a mini side hustle passion project within this movie. Yes. I just want to say. Sam. 
Uh, <laughs> by the way, the <laughs> video for the song is amazing. Yeah. Got to say that. Yeah. Um, I haven't the, seen the video. There's a video? Is it, is it out there? Oh, yeah, you're in the video. Yeah, I got to see it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just tell us about the other working alongside, you know, eye to eye, eyeballing, uh, two hander, double handers with these other amazing members of the cast. Uh, it's Give us a, a bit of Cranston juice. Uh, Cranston. Oh. Well, Cranston did b the best off-camera acting I've ever seen. He did a <laughs> pantomime of a cat attacking his face that had me in stitches. I fell to the ground with laughter. Yeah. Um, and he, it's, he should get an award for off-camera acting. Yeah. Yeah. Cranston's amazing because he can do comedy and drama in a way that is you're not even sure which one he's doing he's ridiculous that's he's one of the that, greats that yeah. man is ridiculous yeah, yeah. One of the he was, was he in network in the west end yes he, he was, was. And, yes. and then he did in, yes. in the that states was five stars wasn't it yeah. yeah i just talked to him about that yeah <clears throat> and he was he's like great. apparently he was destroyed after every performance he gave he left nothing anywhere yeah, yeah. not even in the yeah. cab on the way home there's nothing there was no sign of that man until the next morning after every performance he sure yeah. did he really did he left it he's, on the field yeah oh my gosh yeah all right um go and see this film everyone um is it true that your daughter's requested you make a film that they and their friends can watch at the age they are now without having to pretend they didn't watch it? That is 100% true. It, it was <laughs> what a, kind of comment is that from these, come on. It's a comment of a Why father can't they see this and movie? a daughter. So, um, no, it was a very... The good thing about lockdown, I got... I could force them to watch movies they would never watch before, right. you know, normally. So I put Romancing the Stone on and actually North by Northwest and oh, Charade. Yeah. Um, and Charade, yeah. And Charade. And they loved it. And they said, come on. We, we were talking about all the... You know, they said, the, make a movie like that. Yeah. Yeah. There were those 80s movies, right, yeah. that weren't comedies, but were really extraordinarily funny. Yes. And so I was talking to the team about Beverly Hills Cop. So uh, Beverly uh, Hills... I know, I know, great. I know. So my hang son... On a second, hang on, my turn, it, okay, my turn. Go. My, I've got the talking pillow. Yeah. So, uh, my show. Um, Beverly Hills Cop 4 is on the way this summer. Yes. Beverly it, Hills Cop... It got what? It's four. on the Beverly Hills Cop 4 is coming to the cinemas oh, this summer. Oh, that's right. Right, so I said this, and the team... They gave me that look where I thought, they don't even know, they don't know what the phrase Beverly Hills Cop uh, is. It's the best. Because they were 10 years well, from being... Well, you have a treat. Did you know, did you you know, know that Stallone treat. was the first choice for that role? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But the thing about these 80s films is that they were funny. Mm. They, they weren't comedies. They were comedies. But they were no jokes, but they were just funny. Romancing the Stone, one of those movies. Yeah. It was this. It was this yeah. weird pedigree of films in the eighties. Yeah. Midnight the Run. That was Martin Brest. Midnight did, Run was right? hilarious. Yeah. yeah, Midnight Run, amazing. Off the chain. Forty eight. Yeah. Uh, Forty eight hours. Another Forty eight yeah. hours. Trading Places. All those yeah. films. All you know, classic. Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Yeah. No jokes, but you know, mm. great film. Yeah. But I was going to say, I watched Beverly Hills Cop with my son when he was fifteen. So you go, you will enjoy it. And they've seen it. His, I, he, I made he, them watch it. When he was watching it, going, Dad, you know the the opening scene with the truck, yeah. and he was like. Did they do that for real? I went, yes. And then I realized CG. Forget it. Forget it. Move do over. it for real. And nothing, nothing that's why they don't it. age as well. The great thing about, no, the many great things, sorry. One of the Go other on. great things about the opening sequence in Beverly yeah. Hills Cop is pre the lorry chase. Mm. It's, it's the, you think you're watching a documentary because uh -huh. it's two, three minutes of basically documentary work yeah. to set the scene of the time you're in. Yeah. The so yeah. clever, man. Was it yeah. the heat is yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, the heat is, that the song? is yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Ferris Bueller's yeah. Day Off. La da da. Yep. Well, that would be my that might that be, I second say, film. Second one is okay. between between yeah oh, Ferris. Okay, my answer is now going to be yes. from now on. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, uh, it's not, pretty damn good. Yeah. Did you come up with your? Did you say yours in the end? I said I'm going to the cuckoo's nest. Oh, you did. With yeah. a little bit of a freak in it. I had to go. I had to get classy on you guys. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Not that um, Back to the Future and Ferris Bueller aren't classy. We are a rock and roll breakfast show. We do like to talk a lot. People seem to like it because we try and make our speech sound like music. Is what we try and do. However, music is so important to movies. Mm -hmm. We know that. Yes. Um, lock stock. You know, wouldn't have been anything without the, the music, would it? Mm. They they were two titans that clashed together, yeah. and we were the beneficiaries of that that vomit you have, of, of harmony. You have no idea how true that is, because you know when we made Lockstock, we couldn't get distribution, right? And the only reason we did is we had a record deal, right? And um, for a hundred grand, and um, and the guy that ran the record company rang up the just film people saying, "I'm going to get fired if you don't get just put it in two screens for one weekend." to help me out and uh ocean color scene we found that you introduced me to them yeah and um and this man made lock stock into a hit we had richard curtis in the other day talking about something and um he was talking about four weddings and a funeral yeah and wow. how it may be time for the bookend to that huh. you know? wow well, and we'll... his wife emma emma yeah suggested four funerals and a wedding good idea right 
too obvious. So I said, oh, I, no, 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 I think really so. Think? Okay. Well, I had time to think about it. So I said, oh, to, I okay. said to him, how about, okay, four weddings in your funeral, funeral? Yeah, yeah. Four funerals are running, good. But how about four funerals and some weeding? Oh. Because people tend to garden more. Oh, yeah. But that is also a funeral. Yeah, I suppose so. If you think about it. I, so. just, I just threw my hand to the ring. Oh, Didn't go think? well. <laughs> what about a bookend to, to Lockstock? Come oh, on. No, no, no. Guy and I have talked about it. I thought it would be really interesting. We have an idea for what it should be um, about where are those boys now. Yeah. But I said we should do a documentary of Guy and I making a movie for 900 grand again and, we, and seeing how out of touch we've become on film that'd be fun yeah um, all of us together you know that yeah. he, he once once you get together with him movie wise he likes to keep it going <clears throat> have you talked about anything else sam rock well and might it be this might might it be a lockstock thing we, we don't know we don't i mean yeah i'd have to do an english accent i guess um You've done that before. I've you, done don't, that you wouldn't before. have to yeah, yeah have to. i don't have to i could be the american yeah i yeah. love doing accents Sure, sure. No, I I would love to work with Matthew again. We'd we'd figure something out. We'll figure something out. Yeah. We just did. Yeah, we just made another movie. <laughs> we made a music video. Yeah. Yes, oh, Stuntman. Oh, oh, that's right. We did. We, we did a movie. Saw another movie. Have you forgotten the whole film? <laughs> yeah. We did a movie. No, we did. He he produced it. It's a film. Yeah, that our his second unit director directed. It's about stuntmen, literally. Right. And well, the leads are stuntmen. Set in Derby. And See, me, that's how many films you made. You just forgot about one. And it's a recent one. That's that's. It was and a quick fun. shoot. It was, but it was a lot of fun. Chris Hemsworth, Matt Damon, and I play ourselves in it. It's All really right. Fun. So let's talk about this music yeah. video um, yeah. quickly. What is it? Basically, I I think when music and movies come together, yep. as you just said with Lockstock, mm -hmm. um, it's the best. You know, it's, it's more powerful and yep. memorable. And even when I heard you playing, don't you forget about me? I just remember being a kid yep. watching that film. Yeah, yeah. So the record companies didn't agree with me. The record companies right now think it's all about TikTok yep. and young mm -hmm. kids. And I thought, well, why don't we write a fun disco song, get all the actors dancing in it, get Nile Rogers in to play. Why not? You know, he like, knows why a not? thing or two. And then, and then in Romancing the Stone, they brought Billy Ocean out and they did When the Going Gets Tough. They did. And I thought, what's wrong with Boy George? Yeah. So Boy George agreed, and we've done a fun, feel good with Ariana, with yeah. Ar and then Ariana, who's the, one of the ladies and well, actresses in the film, yep. she's singing. Yeah. The great thing about the track mm. is that yeah. it sounds like it's been around forever. That was, the and point. some of your yeah. friends tried to style it out yeah. that they'd heard it before. Oh, they did! Hilarious! Yes. <laughs> what did Instead they of say? It as well. What did and, they say? Um, I want to see the video. I'm excited. It's great. The video. It's on yeah. my phone. I've got it on my phone. So. I got to check it out. If you I promise not to swear again in the next five minutes, you can. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I can't guarantee anything, but I'll I'll try. Oh, apparently mm. you need to leave. You oh. need. They need to leave. Says their PR. Uh, you need to leave. Is it just the PR people? Was it, no, is it my PR, potty mouth? Is it the, the, no, 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 at all. Hey, guess what? You could, I don't mind. I don't mind. PR, so. We're in charge. <laughs> okay. We can um, stay. If you want us to stay, we're staying. Sam, have you enjoyed it? This chat. I have enjoyed this chat, yeah. actually. Yeah, I have. Was it, it was, did it was you, e easy, easy did, peasy. Did your attention wane at any point? Can I do, have you got, do you no, have any you're notes? Pretty, you're pretty stimulating. Do you have any notes? I, I happen to get some sleep. Give me, give me so one we're note. Both lucky. Give me one note to be a better person um, at this job. I really couldn't give you a note. I'm, I'm impressed. Really? I, yeah. I can give you I mean, one note. I mean, we could make it a, we could have a rated R segment at some point. That's okay. the only, that would be that'd my only be, note. That'd be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn the lights down a little. No, okay, no, oh, now we got notes. No, my pay grade. Oh, I was going to say, it's like... Way above my pay grade. Wow, I'm like being like a yeah, but it, it helps with some circadian rhythm to reset his jet lag. <laughs> oh. It does, doesn't it? It does. It? It does. Yeah, it's I'm funny right. you should say that in the hotel I was trying to fade the lights and they weren't fading. It was like, well, it's either really yeah. bright or really dark. So, was, so we have Dr. Michael Greger on the show in a bit, right? This guy is a genius. This book is the best, most useful book I've ever read and I read three books How a week and I have Forty. I've been reading three books a week for 40 what are, years. What, what, what do they say? No, what's not the they, essence? Michael Greger, right? What, what does he say? He says, in essence, uh, just sort it all out. It's all there. Three sections of the book. Slowing 11 pathways of aging. That's section one. The optimal anti-aging regimen is section two and preserving function is section three. It's brilliant. His so first book was called How Not to Diet. His second book was called How Not to Die, and this is How Not to Age. Oh, I've read How Not to Die. Right. Sunday yeah. Times bestsellers, New York uh, Times bestselling author. Wow. He's in the building. He's on the show in a moment wow. or two. Wow. And he talks is he about the guy that says how doc doctors can be more dangerous wow. 
Is that the book when, yeah, it, when yeah. they say operations can be more dangerous? I'm than curious what, you what, you, what, what, what he's yeah, the sleep, sp- exercise, all that jazz. Phenomenal, my friend. Yeah, phenomenal. Wow. They talk about you know um, circadian rhythm. So you get as much light into your eyes as you can early on in the morning. So that yeah. sets your circadian rhythm, right? Yes. Yeah. And they talk about um, blackout blinds. You know, in the summer. Yeah. yeah. And people go blackout blinds, blackout. Do you know how much blackout blinds are? They're not inexpensive. Right. How about an eye mask for one dollar fifty? That is a blackout blind. Get right. your eye, get eye masks into your life. Get. Blackout blinds. Out. I wonder what he says about um, pure vitamin D from the sun. I mean, you know, you can't look directly in the sun, obviously, but do you take your sunglasses off and really get some vitamin D in there without staring directly in the sun? Obviously, got to be careful, man. Got to be careful. Mm. Uh, some people need to cover up with. Um, uh, yes, you want to get. You don't want to get skin cancer. Well, like a I had it last year, and so we oh. we did all this. We've we've researched it. All, I mean, people. So I can never go out in the sun ever now without yeah. long sleeve t-shirts or factor 50 on my face all year round 12 months a year oh wow yeah it's not great you're okay now I'm okay now yeah good thank well God. that's yeah, that's God. a good result I got all the sympathy i got all the sympathy yeah people were lingering people lingering like you, you know you. with conversations they were yeah. talking to me a bit longer just in case oh, honestly no, really no, i am not joking. really but people who i sort of knew i don't think you like me very we're 20 minutes at the, at the service station having a chat and what did you learn after you had that when they told you you had skin cancer what was the first thought my first well the the trepidation and the uncertainty was yeah. really difficult to cope with yeah. when they told me i had it i had huge relief because i knew what i was dealing with and i knew what i had to do right yeah and it's it fairly was, treatable I, 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 oh no yeah. like oh, yeah. like eminently treatable yeah 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 eminently i mean not always it did, yeah. can be fatal but yeah if you catch it early enough yeah you know, um, yeah wow but it, in, an interesting journey, one I'm very grateful that I've been through, and I've learned so much about myself and about life. That's good. I just had something taken out. I was it was benign, but the, you should you gotta get it check, you get it checked out. Oh, you get checked out. I will get it checked out. You want you, you want gotta the, get naked want in front of the dermatologist, yeah, Matthew. Are you yes. ready for that? Yeah. I had uh, kidney stones last year. They were interesting. That's uh, interesting. You, by the way, you're way over now. <laughs> you uh, really do have to go. I like winding PR kidney people stones. up. Kidney stones. What, no, what do you I have? don't. I don't because they they were responsible for the next exactly. Right, Matthew Vaughan. Sam Rockwell. Control room round of applause, even for the swearing. Yay! Yay! The movie's out. By the way, Sam says sorry. Do Look you at believe these kids. him? I, I'm Yay! sort of sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, a lot of you, enthusiasm. Our guy is great. It's a great. It's great. It's like it's like a neutral bullet of all Matthew's films so far, and they've all been smashes. Well done, Matthew. Thank you. Well done, Sam. Thank you. Our guy, UK you. cinemas from first of Feb. If you don't catch it here, you'll catch it somewhere else because it's on all over the world. Goodbye. You just woke us up. <laughs> That's my uh, job. You, you woke me up. <laughs>